The old and empty Utica Elementary School could soon have kids walking the halls. A Jeffersonville nonprofit is turning the space into a community center. WDRB's Raina Kako reveals what you can expect once those doors open. Officials with Utica United say this old elementary school has a long way to go before they can use it as a community center. But they also say the process will be much faster now that they have a new roof. The roof was holding us up on, on some things that we've already had donated. Paints, people to repair floors, heating and air. We had to have a roof on this place and it's happening. For five years, Frankie Garrett dreamed of renovating this building. Well, there's really nothing at this end of town for the kids to go do. I just thought it would be great for, the, for Utica, Utica Township, and all the co surrounding communities. He founded Utica United with some friends, so he could turn that fantasy into reality with a long list of ideas on how to best use each room. Anywhere from jazzercise, yoga, pickleball, basketball leagues, the sky is just the limit for this place. While they are updating the space, they're hoping to keep some of the building's original charm. For example, this room already has these shelves built in, so it might be turned into a lending library. This is just a way to give back to the community, you know? I, I've, been, I've been blessed and I'd like to be able to bless some other people. With the new roof, Utica United can focus on the next two phases. First phase is the gym, the cafeteria, the stage the kitchen, and handicap accessible restrooms. And later, Garrett hopes kids will return to these old classrooms when the nonprofit offers tutoring, art and music classes, and a computer lab. A lot of the timeline for this project depends on grants, donations, and sponsorships. But officials with Utica United hope to have this space open by fall of next year. Reporting in Jeffersonville, Raina Katko, WDRB News.